It's Thursday, campers. Let's get it on. General Motors CEO Fritz Henderson said today that the U.S. auto sales should improve modestly next year as tight credit for auto financing eases and the economy works its way out of the recession. Meanwhile, Rite Aid reported a smaller second quarter loss today as it cut expenses, but they lowered their expectations for the fiscal year due to the weak economy and high unemployment. And home resales dipped unexpectedly last month after a four-month streak of gains, providing evidence that the housing market recovery remains fragile. Wall Street's reaction? Here are the numbers. Duke Energy and FPL Group, two of the nation's largest electric utilities, said today they will transition their entire automobile fleets into plug-in hybrid and full electric vehicles. Wow, that kind of makes sense. The U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission charged a Texas man with insider trading for making $8.6 million of illegal profit related to Dell's planned purchase of Perot Systems. And rumor has it that Twitter is close to a deal to secure as much as $100 million of new funding from up to seven investors. And overseas, Hungary's Competition Authority fined Visa, MasterCard, and the country's top commercial banks today for illegally fixing the fees they charge each other after bank card transactions. For the Business Press, I'm Dave Kaufman. Join us again tomorrow for another Biz Minute.